Hey everyone, welcome to this week's art video. So this week's art video is part one of a two-parter. Well, hopefully a two-parter. I haven't finished it yet, so it may turn into a three-parter if I can't finish it by next week. But yeah. So this piece is actually a redraw of a piece that I drew last year. It's my interpretation of a Filipino monster, the Menanangal. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. I actually really like how my original one turned out, but there were little things that I wanted to change, so here I am. I wavered between doing a paint over versus a complete redraw, but obviously you see now that I chose the complete redraw. I'm actually interested in drawing more Filipino monsters. I don't know if people would find it interesting to see uh, a Filipino-American who really isn't familiar with Filipino folklore exploring that. For me, I feel like it's kind of a sort of way to connect with my mom's culture somehow. I'm sure there are a lot of mixed race people out there who feel like they're in this weird middle place between their parents' cultures. In particular, I've seen this a lot with Asian Americans. I mean, I'm sure it exists for others, but from my personal experience, that's what I've seen. Like a lot of second generation immigrant kids, my dad being from the Midwest and my mom being from the Philippines, my mom, in an attempt to make it easier for her kids, didn't really teach us her language or really about her culture. She did teach us about the food though, which I'm happy about. Filipino food is delicious. I feel like my experience was pretty typical of most of the Filipino American kids that I met as a kid. My dad was in the Air Force, and on base there was a pretty decent population of Filipino wives that my mom became friends with, and we would always have potlucks with plenty of Filipino food, and then all of the kids playing together. Our moms would hang out, speak in Tagalog, and sometimes my mom would speak in Visayan if there were ladies there who also spoke that. But for the most part, the kids didn't understand what our moms were saying. For me and my sisters, we were only taught basic words like tubig, walatna, gunting. <laughs> I wish that my mom made more of an effort to teach us how to speak Tagalog, and I really do think she regrets not teaching us now, but it's just one of those things that happened to a lot of us second generation immigrant kids, I guess. I keep trying to learn it on my own using Rosetta Stone, but I have a hard time making myself do the lessons. I really should get back on that. I kind of have dreams of learning it and then going to visit her and just busting out with fluent Tagalog and surprising her. I think that'd be fun. But learning a new language is pretty difficult, so we'll see how that goes. I don't really know why I randomly started talking about all of that stuff. Kind of just stream of consciousness-ing it, I guess. I guess trying to explain where I'm coming from with trying to desperately connect in some way with my mom's culture. I'm super interested in mythology and folklore in general, so naturally that's kind of what I want to explore. Anyway, I've kind of run out of things to say, so I guess I'm going to let the video finish out now.
guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned next week for hopefully the second and last part of this piece. Thank you.